In not quite sports news, controversy hits the professional eating league as star eater and runner-up for last year's Coney Island hot dog eating contest, Tarzan Jones, is banned from the league. Dick Donnelly with the story. Well, Judy, the news comes after Tarzan tested positive for anabolic steroids, commonly used in horse training this past Monday during a routine drug testing by the Professional Eating League. Mr. Jones was immediately placed on a one-year ban, which he is not planning on appealing. I caught up with Mr. Jones during an impromptu press conference held in his garage. Tarzan, why have you decided not to appeal the results? Is this your own admission of guilt? Yeah, I did that shit. My body, my choice. Look, Dick, you understand how hard it is to keep triceps like this? All eating 50 hot dogs a day? Yeah, it's hard work. It's hard work, man. Hard like my glutes. Check them out. Feel them. I'd rather not. Feel them! Very firm, sir. How about you, sweetie? Feel them. Let me brain check you on that. Tarzan, what about your fans who are going to be upset by this news? <sighs> This is me, this is who I am. 212 pounds of rippling muscle, twisted steel, and sex appeal. You got a problem with that? You can f off. I'm Dick Donnelly, back to you in the studio. <clears throat> in other news, fur was flying when a fight broke out between some bitches at the Westminster Dog Show. No! What, you want to get out of here? No, I'm sick of all of this. You know I'm gonna see about a million people every day, but they're all the fucking same? Wow, tall building, let me take a picture in front of it. Cool t-shirt, gotta have it. All right, Ben, relax and eat your sandwich. Like this guy over here in the Elmo costume. Look at him, he's half drunk. It's 11 in the morning. You ever think about how easy it is to snatch up little children wearing one of those things? No. Yeah, kids going to complete strangers, totally disguised, mind you, thinking it's Elmo, their favorite character. And you think these costume shops do background checks to see who diddles little kids or not? God knows what he's doing in it off the clock. All I'm to do is throw little Jimmy in a van and drive away. He probably thinks he's going to Sesame Street. I think you're onto something, man. Go get a costume. Oh, man. Hey, Elmo! How many kids have you touched today? Drink yourself dead. That's what she said. Ha, and I'm doing my best. Yeah, I'm doing my best. I said I'm doing my best. show a little more maturity around my parents on Sunday. They're coming to my competition? You do realize my graduation is Sunday, right? Already? God, what are they What do you mean, already? I've worked three years for this. My whole family will be there. That sounds terrible. Why would I want to see any of them? You don't understand. Why I have to go? No, I don't. And you know, I work pretty hard too, actually, and you have not been to one of my events. Worked hard eating. What an accomplishment. Uh, it is, actually. Maybe you're the one that doesn't understand. Larry, suck up both. I don't know what that means at all. But I can't keep doing this forever. 
If you're not there on Sunday, I might not be here on Monday. No one is going to be here on Monday. They're not open on Mondays, Anna. Captain Obvious. She's Greek. They do that. A lot. I'll take it. you just shut up already? I'm hungover, and I'm pissed off, and you've made your point. So just shut up any second now. Excuse me, were you talking to my baby? I'm not talking to you, lady. I'm talking to him. You think your life is so bad that you gotta cry and let everybody know about it? Well, your life ain't that bad, buddy. Let me tell you, I've got problems. McDonald's stopped serving the McRib. I can't find it anywhere. They also stop serving breakfast at 10.30. Do you know how hard it is for me to get up before 10.30? I haven't had breakfast in years. There's construction outside of my apartment window. My landlady is a nosy bitch. I still haven't won any real eating competitions. And today, I find out that my hero is a lying, cheating, steaming pile of Clydesdale shit. Do you know how much I would give to suck on your mom's tits? I don't even need to do it 15 times a day like you get to. Once or twice is plenty. Excuse me, officer. you, baby. <laughs> I will. Any place, any time, any discipline. I will own you. Fuck this competition. Come to my place later. We eat pick. So, Chinatown or Koreatown? Asshole. My man will give you detail. Show up. Don't make me come looking for you. business card. It's got staples. Dick. All right. We gathered up everyone who matched your description. Take a good look and tell us which one it was. It's number four. It's definitely number four. All right. Number four. Step forward. Come on. Handle it. Take your time. Make sure it's the one. I don't know. These red people all look the same to me. All right, good enough. Book them! You nailed the son of a bitch. Good job, everybody. Thanks. Shut the fuck up. Get back to your cell. No, Mom, I'll be home. I'll do the dishes some other time. Look, I just left the dish in there overnight. Yeah, no, I'll do the dish when I come home. Just because I left it over... Look, I got somebody here. Hey, man. Sorry I'm late. Yeah, well, looks like you're not the only one, so... Well, looks like nobody decided to show up. Guess I won. Bam. No, bam. No, you're not just the winner. You have to actually put a dog in your mouth to win. <laughs> well, I'm here. You want to take me out? Brooklyn Champlin, 2009. All right. <sighs> and you can use the mustard. Thanks. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's gorgeous, 
gorgeous competition. Due to the recent unfortunate revelation of star eater Tarzan Jones, the winner of today's competition will get a spot at the big table. <laughs> I'm going to eat you under the table. <laughs> eat my ass, asshole. Pleasure. Bring out the pickle. First one to finish the jar. Take your pickle and get out of my Brooklyn.
Cut. Good. Good. Yeah, I like that.